Hi and welcome. I would like to present to you Rakeen system. Today's topic, animations part 2. In this tutorial, I am going to describe how to set up animations inside Rakeen 3D Studio. First, I'll add a new object in 3D Editor. Button Add opens up a window with all objects. I'll choose a penguin as my 3D object. In the part 1 of this tutorial, I'm describing the first part of setting up animations. I'm going to repeat those steps and then I'll show a new controller for animation's face index. We're turning on object's animation. The object is not visible at the moment because as the first face intro, an animation of zoom in 0 to 100% was chosen. If we turn this function off, then we'll see the object in the first face. Let's turn on a rotation of the object in that face. I'm choosing 360 degrees around Y axis. I'm also enabling movement and setting up value 300 on the y-axis. The object will be animated going downwards and rotating starting from a displayed position. Now let's move on to the second phase, maintenance. I'm turning off the loop option and setting up 360 degrees rotation. I'm also enabling movement of the object on x-axis, setting value of 300, so to the right hand side. And now the third phase, outro. I'm enabling zoom, which will cause the object to change its scale from 100% to 0% and that way disappear. Here. To start the animation, we need to press play or next. We've just seen an intro phase. Auto option is not turned on, so to execute the maintenance phase, we need to press next again. So that's what I'm doing, pressing next. And after that, we want to execute the third phase, outro. The phase will cause the object to disappear by zooming out. So to start the outro phase, I press next one more time. We can repeat the whole animation sequence at any time. Let's talk about a new function. We can now choose which phase we want an animation to start from. This option is called Start Stage and it's placed right next to Enable Animation on and off button. By default, Start Stage is set to Intro, that's why before the animation started off from the Intro phase. If we decide to choose Maintenance as a phase to start from, then after pressing Play or Next, animation will complete Maintenance phase. After that, it will go to the outro phase. And as the last phase, intro will be executed. This way we can change the order of phases. So let's now have a look at the last possibility. I'll set up start stage to outro. First, the object size will change to 0%, as that's what outro phase has been set up to do. Then, the intro phase is being executed, and lastly, maintenance. After closing 3D Editor, the object will be automatically set up accordingly to our saved setting and our choice of start stage option. We can now control and trigger each phase of an animation by pressing play. New functions were also added for 3D object with built-in animations. I'll go back to 3D Editor now to show them. I'll add an FBX file containing a 3D already animated object. To do that, I need to click Load from File. Import can happen in two ways. First is a standard way of uploading files. Second one is with the use of Autodesk library. I'll tick Use Autodesk FBX Importer checkbox. FBX format is not standardized, therefore the files can be loaded using both methods. Animations in the chosen object are built in and they have been divided into phases. After we highlight the object, we can see available settings and options. Here, we can set up a speed in which the object executes its movements. Under Animation Index, we can choose which animation, prepared by a graphic designer, we want to execute. After the animation has been executed, or if we press Stop, object goes back to the initial position. Now I'm going to change the speed of the animation. The range we can choose from is 0.001 to 10. Value 1 is a default value, a speed defined by a graphic designer. The phases of animations can be changed from the production screen live during broadcast. 
After closing 3D Editor, the object is in its initial position. Pressing play launches the animation. Under Animation Index, we can choose which movement we want to execute. If we haven't chosen Loop option in 3D Editor, we need to manually press play every time we want to begin the animation again. We can also use triggers to control animations. For a simple mode, we choose Animation Control, then click on the name of the object and then Add. This mode will trigger an animation phase that is currently chosen for this object. To change the mode, go to top right corner. In the advanced mode, we also need to start off by choosing animation control. Then, we're choosing an object from a list. On the right hand side, we can choose whether we want to control Rekin's animations consisting of three phases, or an embedded animation, which option I'll be choosing now. From animation index, we can choose a desired animation phase. This way we can trigger that specific phase, even if on the production screen a different phase is chosen. That's all for this episode. Thank you for your attention. Wrecking. Keen on record.